Arafat was thought to have died from a stroke, which was brought on by a blood disorder, which was brought on by an infection. Acute radiation syndrome can bear with it both unusual blood conditions as well as infections. There's a growing suspicion that Yasser Arafat was murdered by spies, much the same that Lutvienko, a Russian spy, was murdered in Great Britain. This was through the poisoning with polonium-210. Polonium is a pure alpha emitter, so you couldn't detect it with external probes to the body, and it will only affect the cells that it's in direct uh, contact with. Alpha particles are readily shielded. In fact, the dead layer of cells on the skin can effectively shield you, the other tissues of your body from alpha emitters. The only way polonium can affect you is if it's taken into the body. It would not be difficult if one had a millionth of a gram of polonium to poison an individual. This is a very tiny amount, and polonium is often in the form of a salt, which readily dissolves, just like table salt. The most difficult part of the entire problem of poisoning an individual with polonium is obtaining a sufficient amount of polonium. Although it's a small amount in terms of its mass, it's a very large amount in terms of what it takes to produce it. If you were going to exhume a body to look for polonium in it, the bone would be the logical place to look. It would have stayed in the bone where the only losses would be by radioactive decay. Because it takes so much polonium-210 to be toxic or to be life-threatening, even after many, many decays, you may still have a detectable amount of polonium-210. It kind of makes you wonder how many other odd deaths might have been caused using technologies we haven't thought of. I think it's really terrible that radiation is being used in this way, when radiation has many, many positive uses.